Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Jim Reverick, the next gen carbon cyber piston cup racer from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So, here we have his artwork for Cars 3, his diecast sealed in, the old Cars logo, the metal logo, a bit of blue and orangish yellow background, new 2021, his name Jim Reverick, the, the Mattel logo, and on the back we have the Los Angeles International Speedway background, as seen in the Cars 3 logo. We have a gray and purple next gen racer with the number 012. Tell me who it is in the comments down below. Sterling, Viewsing Racing Tractor, who I unfortunately don't have. And I also don't have this next gen racer. Still don't remember what his name is. Tell me in the comments down below, anyhow. Taco, Jimbo, who I don't have, Pileup, who I also don't have, and JD McFiller, who I also don't have. 2020, Mattel, the Mattel logo, Mattel, empowering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars, made in Thailand, the Arson logo, RSN, Racing Sports Network. And that is it. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. I'll be right back after this had been unboxed. So here we have Jim Reverick all opened up and out of the package. So, <clears throat> Jim Reverick is a next-gen Piston Cup racer who bears the number 67 for Carbon Cyber. And during his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 Piston Cup season, when next-gen racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuits and many sponsors are, were dropping many veteran racers, he replaced the other Carbon Cyber Racer, Bobby Rotesta. He would then later go on to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway. And during his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single and hasn't received a single re-release ever since. And and I was and I even received him off of eBay, which I was very lucky. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his green exterior paintwork, his black grill, and working headlights, and, and on the hood we've got the Carbon Cyber logo, and a bit of blue and white interior, and on both sides we've got the black rims on the next gen black wall light year racing tires the exhaust pipes and white number 67 the gas cap a few contingency sponsors saying piston cup combustor carbon cyber his sponsor and synergy and the carbon cyber at the very bottom and two shades of blue on the enamel and on the top we've got a silver gray number 67 on top no name signature
and we have the next gen flat spoiler and on the back we've got the red working taillights and a bit of green and light and dark blue on the back and a metallic gray number 67 and the carbon cyber logo and the yellow rookie stripes meaning that he's a rookie and on the undercarriage it says made in Thailand Disney slash Pixar Mattel and that is it and now let's pull up some of the other next gen racers that share his body mold here we have Ryan Inside Laney Chase Race Slot Bubba Wheelhouse Spikey Phillips Rich Mixon Harvey Rodcap Jonas Carverts Tim Treadless and Aaron Clocker and some of the other and the other carbon cyber racer Bobby Rotesta and that is it I now have all the team carbon cyber piston cup racers veteran racer next gen racer but what do you guys think which next gen racer sharing his body mold is your favorite and which team carbon cyber racer is your favorite also is it Bobby Rotesta or Jim Reverick let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!